this is definitely new for me uh, i'm not i'm not somebody who really talks about myself to a lot of people so but i'm gonna go for it we'll have some fun we'll talk some stuff out hey everybody it is a beautiful day here in the bay area east 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 bay area i'm at the black diamond mine trail and uh i do actually come here a lot this is kind of the place that birthed my love for hiking um just a gorgeous day so it was begging me to come out and hike it um, so today i'm actually trying something new for my channel I'm gonna get more personal. I've kind of stayed away from that. I, at first, I wanted my channel to be more about the nature, and and then there'll be plenty of that as well. But I'm gonna try try something new. Try something a little more personal. We can you can learn more about me. I can learn more about you. Um, I'm pretty much gonna just talk about things in my life. Not crazy personal, but these past. These past four or five months or so, I've been going through like a, like a, like a funk, like a seasonal funk. I want to say depression, but depression just seems like a really strong word. And maybe it is a depression, but I've been, been in a funk the past, past few months. So let's talk about it. Welcome to the first episode of Walking and Talking. So last year, 2023 was the first year that I really noticed something was off and I kind of like identified it. I was like, I don't feel right. Like it's usually more when the sun isn't out. So times like, like December, October, December or the winter time, I just feel such low energy. Um, it's like, I am someone who also really, really loves summer so much so when it's not summer i'm kind of just like oh man like i wish it was summer and i try to appreciate when it's not summer like when it is like cold and stormy i'm someone who likes to be out you know out and about doing things but i just noticed that my energy and my i'm not quite at 100 percent i'm like at 80 percent for a while and that like over time just definitely gets rough or even lower than 80% maybe like some days I'm like 60 70% this hike is crazy uphill as you can see so if my breathing gets a little heavier just don't mind me I know I can't be the only one who feels that way um, I, know, I know there are people who really love the winter time and they thrive in the winter and maybe they have a seasonal depression in the summer I'm sure there's all different types of seasonal depressions for different people. But uh, yeah, I seem to just not really do well in the winter time and I try. So like I was saying, I identified it last year. So I knew that this year, 2024, I was gonna try to try to work on it, like work on myself. And by the way, I should clarify that I meant like, I should clarify that it was like the winter of 2022 going into 2023. So 2023 winter is when I was ready for it. And I was trying to make sure that I would be ready for the depression that might come. So I was trying to go to the gym more, just do whatever I could to keep my spirits up during the winter time. Today is April 3rd, 2024. And so it's still been raining and you know, kind of off and on, sunny and raining in the Bay Area. So that's why it's like I'm kind of getting out of the seasonal funk. Like days like today really help when it's sunny and people are out and there's energy, you know. So it's getting better, but I kind of want to just prepare myself for next year. Wow, there's a cave over here, guys. Check it out. I wonder the history of this cave. Could be an animal in there but anyway if you're someone who also has been going through like a seasonal funk like let me know like what you did to help um yourself i usually would like talk to family 
uh, try to watch more comedy on TV so I could be laughing and I definitely helped try to go for a walk even in the rain and just try my best to appreciate the season instead of just say oh I hate this like try to appreciate it that helped me quite a bit let me know down below in the comments like which seasons that you enjoy and which ones are a little more harder for you and what you do to help get through them crazy uphill I also noticed that looking back on old photos on my iPhone or videos on YouTube or something and just looking back on like you know good memories definitely helped me to smile and just kind of be okay one thing later last year and earlier this year the past four months or so I've been not getting the best sleep either and that really is a big factor kind of like in my mood you know I have to when I get amazing sleep I'm super bubbly and energetic and but when I don't get good sleep I almost don't like the person that I am I have to fight it I have to really fight it to be it's like I'm, I'm at 60% and I'm fighting to be 100% and uh, yeah I might get a Starbucks or something some extra extra shots of espresso to wake me up but that only lasts so long usually it just makes you feel maybe even kind of more irritable so that's kind of rough as well dealing with that I like to be a positive you know sunshiny type person and when I'm not like that it's just like kind of hard um, but that's life you know that's the thing too that's part of why I wanted to start doing more videos like this I want to just be real with y'all you know talk about life and uh, maybe we can discuss things in the comments and or if you know me know me in real life in person like please like let's talk about these things and and I do with my close people but I'm down to talk about these things with anybody you know like it's real human connections are really important and like talking about what we're really going through Whew, up the hill we go but I promise you guys this view it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be worth it it really helps to have people kind of like that you know that can help motivate you or that they know that you're gonna be in a seasonal funk you know they might call you more or you can call them you know definitely just Simply just talking, you know, talking about things can do wonders, you know, just someone who can listen to what you're going through. Oh, yeah. All right, this open spot means that we're almost there. Just take a left right here. Oh, I look at the view though. I like this part because you're kind of higher up. You can see the view, kind of see the windmills way over there. All right, we're almost there to the lookout point. I've noticed too, one thing, in the winter time, I tend to definitely eat a lot more and work out a lot less. So that just obviously has like a weight on my mental health, you know? Like, I'm not, I'm not going out as much either, so I'm not walking as much. All the good, like, December goodies start coming out that are really hard to resist. Yeah, and when it's raining, it takes a lot more energy to get out of bed and go to the gym or opposed to like summer, you like hop out of bed, do a backflip and speed off to the gym, you know? So that's part of what it just feeds the, the funk that I've been in for the past few months. One thing too is nice is just like getting cozy with like a nice TV show or a movie or a video game or or a book as well. Reading books before I go to bed definitely can help me sleep better. Whew. I can see my car way over there. Yeah, so I've been focusing more on like researching ways to sleep better. Thankfully I sleep, I do sleep really good when it's cold. Um, having the window cracked a little bit, you know, keeps keeps me cold and helps me sleep throughout the night that definitely helps but when you go like two three weeks without getting good sleep 
you know, that really, really, I feel like a zombie. You know, that's really, it's really rough even just to get through the normal like day. But, you know, you push through, but it's really enjoyable when you have, when you get plenty of sleep and you're like able to just function like a normal, normal human should. For anything that you do, If you have any tips for anything that you do, <laughs> I just heard a huge swarm of bees behind me. <laughs> See, now it's like flat, kind of. It goes uphill again. But yeah, if you have any tips for sleeping better, please let me know down below. Let me know what you do to help yourself sleep. Sleep is like, I say I live to sleep and I sleep to live. I mean that. This is so sad. This used to be like a really nice, beautiful Instagram spot. And I think just last winter, the storm just took out that tree. And, uh, but this spot right here is really nice. It's like a little like Pride Rock area. guys i thought i had a lot more to say you know like it's kind of it's my first time doing this so <laughs> if you watch this far like thank you i'm really sorry if you had to go through a seasonal depression as well it's just really not fun you know um but again if you have any suggestions on things to help anything please let us know and we'll have a discussion about it and uh i plan to do more videos you know things that i'm more personal videos things that i'm going through that are that i can talk about that possibly somebody else is going through as well I can't be the only person you know in fact I know that I'm not the only person which helped me kind of to make this video you know I want to kind of get it out there let's talk about it you know so hope you have a beautiful day rest of your day and uh, I just look forward to more videos this is PD signing out and I'll see you in the next video God, there's a bunch of bees out here <laughs>